A kind day to you all! I am Kinsmar, continuing my coverage of Raiders of the Broken Planet, and apparently I need to change to solo mode manually to connect to... Did that actually do the thing? Switch to matchmaking. I think it did. What does... Oh, that's difficulty for solo mode. Alright, I'll stay to medium. Because I apparently need to do that to access this, the first round prologue mission. So... Is this the tutorial that I accidentally skipped? I can't tell. I'll just start it and find out. Apparently it is! Alright, this is the thing that started automatically the first time I launched the game. And I couldn't get out of this. I can't even alt-tab out of this game to adjust its audio in my computer mixer. Because if I do, the screen just flickers and some code in this game forces it to take priority. So I can't even actually get to the control alt delete menu. That isn't good. So anyway, moving on. Next. Cute shuttle. I assume I am playing as her. 2267 AD, Lyra constellation. 25 light years from Earth. Broken planet. Soul source of Aleph matter in the universe. That isn't that far from Earth. That's actually pretty close, astronomically speaking. Anyway. Aleph matter, substance generated by the planet itself, alters the physiology of carbon-based life forms, replaces any known energy source, enables instantaneous interstellar travel. All right, so it's element X. It's unobtainium. It is the space MacGuffin. Ah, it actually is a completely cracked in half planet. All right, that's off literal. Raiders in search of Aleph have occupied the broken planet for years. Today, three factions are facing off, fighting each other to the death. And... Actual governments aren't. Is this just some sort of secret knowledge of this miraculous element that for some reason all of the combined, I assume, countries and states and confederacies and federations occupying human space, they, they just can't arse themselves to actually come and control. Because this would pose the single most valuable asset to any governmental entity in such a setting. I am just so hard pressed, since they say that this is the sole source of this in the universe, to accept that it's just scrappy raiders and mercenaries that are coming to actually fight over this stuff. Alright, maybe this is like... Uh, space post-apocalyptic and actual human governments aren't a thing for some reason and it's just the remnants of human civilization that are occupying space? Uh, anyway. There's little local resistance. Only a few, led by Herrick, fight the human invaders. Oh, so I'm a local here. Herrick is looking for fighters who are willing to join him, no matter what side they're on. Alright. Cool ship, Herrick. I like the trench art on the side. Cause I'm a fan of that classic pinup style. This is the place. If our intel is correct, they've got what you're looking for there. I'll stay within transmission distance. Alright. It's a nice space Arctic warfare rifle you got there. Alright, anyway. Infiltrate the enemy base. So this actually is the tutorial. Man. I wish I had done this. Can I not? Oh, I can't actually aim at those things. Uh, cross the chasm. Jump. Uh huh. Yeah. That was an awfully labored. Whoa, wait a minute. Is that the run? I'm detecting activity nearby. Alright. Be careful, anyway. Gringo. 
you don't have the right accent to use the terminology that you use. I thought the cabrones thing in the other mission was just an erroneous little weird addition to your script. No, I think he's actually supposed to have like a Tejano sort of accent. And he doesn't. He's whiter than me! That don't fly! Eh, get it? Because he's a pilot? Anyway. So... Right click, aim, click to fire. Got it. The radar revealed an approaching prison ship. I think they're trying to transfer the target. Alright. Oh, 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 oh. Almost managed to screw that up. Alright. So... I'm just so annoyed that apparently the main menu changed automatically to matchmaking the first time that I started this up after adjusting my settings. So that's why I couldn't access the tutorial, or so I thought. I suggest fighting this enemy! Uh, all, all right then, thanks, pilot, for critiquing your actual combatant on the ground's tactics. Now eliminate him in a brawl! You can use the ammo you'll take from him! Could you stop screaming into your microphone for like a second and a half? Hi. There we go. According to the maps, you need to go in through the main door. The guards are pretty dumb, but they won't open unless they can't see you anymore. Seriously, he is so agitated on the radio. Calm it down there, friendo. Eric stalks his enemies. Press and hold control. Aim anywhere. Right, right, right. So... Where is it you're wanting me to go? I can't move the camera outside of this square, so I assume I should get up there? In that position, you're out of range of their cameras. Stay there for a little bit. Alright, this is strange. I can't see him. I think we scared him off. Let's go out and check. They're all yours, and they've left the door open. Oh, the contrivance is strong. Take out your enemies or return to the ground whenever you want. Pressing control. Stalking consumes energy. Pay attention or to the power bar while you stalk. Okay. So, Eric is a stalker. Got it. I'll just get past them. Alright. Hurry, man. They're taking him away. I'm all over it. Remember, a personal device injects Olive into the warrior's nervous system. Suppressing stress and improving concentration. As you can see, the Olive flow can uh, be seen through walls. I, I can see that. Olive I flows into you as well. Use your Olive meter to monitor its activity in your The game just minimized itself. Detected. It wants it so it much. Widow to not get played. It's just taking every chance it gets to stop me from playing itself. Yeah, yeah, uh -huh. There we go. Okay. Melee is almost useless. Because I hit the melee key first. And then these guys' animations activate so fast that even though mine is already active and I'm already rushing them, they just thrust kick straight at me. Alright, just screw it. Just get to the elevator. Yep, yep, yep. These animations, these attacks, they have such a delay. It's so unsatisfying. God, all of these animations, every single one, the movement, the attacks, the reloading, everything across the board needs to get increased in speed at least 300%. Anything less is just too slow. Because this game handles like I'm forcing it to make any movement through weighted training gear. I turned invisible, didn't I? Ah. That was a horrible idea. Alright. 
contrived nonsense that wouldn't actually work in the combat system of the game. Sure. I sure do love it when the coolest part of what a character can do is outside of my ability as a player to do. That makes me feel cool as a player of the game that this character is in. The coolest things characters do, players should do through them. That's the reason they're characters in a game, so that players can experience what the characters are doing through them. Oh. My god. Well, very easy. They take it. Up your ass. Gather the team. Change of plans. <sighs> Please tell me that's the end of that mission. It is, isn't it? I was actually saying that facetiously because I just didn't want to do anymore. I think that actually was the end of that mission. There was there was nothing to that. There there were three enemies. Three. Only the last couple of which I could actually fight. The first guy was just a scripted sneak up on him and kill him. <sighs> and the thing is, critiquing that as a tutorial, because that's what that was. That taught me how to play one character. There are multiple in this game. That didn't actually teach me how the flow of actual missions works. As in, moving from one objective to another, accomplishing things, combating an antagonist along the way, and the concerns that having that strong opponent amidst all the chaff actually do for the player like that wasn't representative of what the rest of the game plays like and it is therefore an extremely poor tutorial it was just a controls demo it wasn't an experience you're in for demo so my the conceptual faults at play here are myriad i cannot enumerate all of them because there are just so many and that's such a shame, because this is a cool concept. Again, I said this earlier. As archetypally uh, uninspired as this is, rooted as it is in just common tropes of the genre, at least, of the style that's at play here. The art style, the audio design, and even the characters to a certain degree had uh, enough charm going for them to interest me when I first saw this on Steam. And at this point, I have had such an agonized time attempting to play it that it just isn't worth continuing for me. And for a free prologue consisting of the first couple of missions that's supposed to hook me and sell me on this to actually purchase the rest of it, because I, I have to actually purchase all of these seasons individually and that isn't a good structure i don't think anyway because it's it's treating this as though it's like a free-to-play platform with episodic content seasons and i just i can't say i'm a fan of that structure i'll, I'll i shan't get into that here though suffice it to say i just think it leads itself to a poor system of development cycles and it opens itself up to uh, a high amount of focus on microtransactions more than I think is really healthy for a game of this type so anyway I'm going off on tangents here suffice it to say I haven't had any fun at all with this game I have had zero and for the platform that is supposed to incentivize me to actually click the purchase key on that Steam overlay pop-up that it threw in my face in the first episode, it has failed completely, miserably, and utterly. Because I ain't about to purchase this game. I ain't about to tell anyone to purchase this game. I ain't even about to give a conditional recommendation to a certain subgenre of co-op action game players for this game. Because there are just so many others that do everything this tries and fails to do so much more smoothly and successfully. This has nothing going for it. 
absolutely zero. Asymmetrical combat, superior versions elsewhere. Co-op objective combat, superior versions elsewhere. Rolling through an environment just to grind for abilities and just... All of these mechanical aspects, superior versions, are found in other games elsewhere, many of which are free to play. So this competing on the market has so much work cut out for it that I'm skeptical it will ever go anywhere. So that's my input for it. I hate to give such a condemning review for my first impressions of it. I just have to call it honestly. And this hasn't done anything for me. So I honestly do wish this team well. Because there are talented people here. The asset designers, the modelers, less so the animators, less so the actors. The composer, if there are multiple. And that's about it. So, I hope those people find some success elsewhere, because they ain't gonna find it here. So, that's it for Raiders of the Broken Planet. Thank you all kindly for watching. If you've enjoyed this series, and my suffering through it, th through it, there we are, throughout it, there we are. Consider checking out our Patreon to help us keep the show alive. I'm Kim Rockin' as always. I wish you all good gaming and Godspeed.